All right, all right. So um, sorry about that. It was from my end. Okay, so um, I guess I need to zoom this out so that we get it right. Let me just share with you. Now, the manual trading with the bot, okay, if you want to use um, the, the bot itself to automate your trading, you can start with as low as $100, okay, to just do using the edge board to automate all of your trading, all right? If you want to use the MetaFishers board to just do the automation with a minimum of $100, you can use the edge board to automate your trading. And you are sure that the board will be taking trade both sides. And whenever it goes in profit, it sells everything automatically for you. It selects the coin, it trades for you. And at the end of the day, it makes profit for you. So with as little as $100, you can do that. But one thing I need to let you understand is that the more money you put into um, trading, okay, just like I shared with you, the more money you put into trading, the more profit you stand to gain, okay? But the um, super board that is coming up, okay, hopefully before the, this weekend, I don't, I, I'm not sure yet, but the super board that is coming up is going to be a very aggressive board that can make profit for you within a short period of time. That one will require that you have a minimum of $600 before you can trade. Okay, in our last Zoom meeting, I shared that with you on the screen when it prompted me that you must have a minimum of, you know, um, $600 before you can use that. And not just $600, when you have $600, this is what you are committing to the board to trade. But you need to have additional word, additional money on the standby to cover up. Okay, that is for the, the super board when it is finally launched. But this semi-manual trading, where you need to look at RSI, you need to analyze the market, the minimum you need actually is $300 to start off this, okay? The minimum you need is $300. And here, it has been specified here, okay? Now, on the board setting, we have where it says, when you go to the settings, I will share that for, for those of you who don't know yet, I will share where the settings is. When you go to the settings, okay, um, you have the amount setting where you have the my cost in USDT. What this my cost simply means is that when the board enters the market, how much do you want the board to start a trade with? How much do you want the board to start a trade with? And here the recommendation is, if you are having $300, okay, your cost should be $5, okay? If you're having $300 in your Binance Fishers account, your cost should be what? $5, all right? And then you use, what leverage are you using? 5X leverage. So if I'm using $5 here, and I'm using 5X leverage. Five times of this amount of money, okay, will give you what you have here. Now it is because it's $7, that's why you have 35. So if it is $5 I have here, that should be 25, all right? Yes, that should be 25. So if you have 400, your first, um, your cost or your first purchase, um, your first order amount should be what? $6. If you have, you know, 500, your first purchase price should be what? $7. And then if you have $600, your first budget price should be $10, all right? Now if you don't be greedy, don't go with $20, don't go with $50, except you are sure that the market, when you enter it, it will never go against you. Then you can use whatever amount of money you use. But why the board is so sweet is because it helps you to manage or trade the market under probability, under probability, all right? So um, this, uh, explains everything here. And the leverage you are using is 5X leverage. On the board, the maximum leverage you can use is 10X. But always place safe between 1X and 5X, okay? So that you'll be safe in the market, all right? Then after that, we go to the trade settings. On the number of circle, now the number of circle is, when I did that um, on the trade I shared, which I put it on one shot. One shot means that once that hits my target and it takes profit for me, the trade will automatically close. Okay, if I said it should circle 100 times, it means that the trade will continue to pick trade, uh, the, the board will continue to pick a trade for me, even without me doing anything. Even without being online, even without being uh, logging into my board, it will continue to trade until it executes, in as much as I have money in my account, until it executes this 100 times that I put here. So if you put 10 times, it is 10 times. In my last Zoom meeting, I showed you how I trade. I carried that was all up, but did, you know, 10 times the trade. And that made me a huge amount of money, okay? And then you have circle configuration, okay? So in the circle configuration, just use one time, okay? Just use one in all of them. In all of the time, just use one, okay? I will share all of those settings maybe after now. 
Then we have trade start callback, make it 0%. This is when you are doing manual, okay? And then the edge reverse direction trigger, make it 2%. The edge reverse direction trigger means that, let's say the market is going against you. Um, this 2% on the board will give you 10% ROE. If the market is going against you by that 10%, what you are simply saying is that you want the board to open another trade in the opposite direction, okay? So meaning that why this other one is in loss, the one you just open that can be making you profit, all right? And in this case, this when the market start reversing back, you can close this one that is in profit and wait for this other one to equally cover up and the rest, okay? So this is what the edge um, trigger is all about. And then we have the reverse, the edge reverse trigger to be zero times um, Bitcoin, BTC callback, leave it this, and then the BTC callback time will be 30 minutes. After that, you go to the trade settings. Okay, the stop loss should be zero because we are going to use 50 margin call. We don't really expect to make um, losses in the market. That is why we are putting it at zero because the more co coverage, the more I have carried out a trade where it covered to the 50th margin call before that trade actually made profit for me. It covered to the 50th. Okay, so we do this zero. Okay, and then trailing stop loss, we do it auto. Trailing stop, just make it. Um, stop loss, it will make it 0%. And then for the margin call, this is where the, the magic happens when you make it 50. 50 is that, I, as I explained earlier, when margin call here, the margin call limit is when the market is going against you. That is when this is triggered. So as the market is going against you, the board automatically use these settings you've done here to buy for you and keep you longer and closer to the market price so that you can easily make profit. Okay, so that you can easily make profit when the board goes in your favor, all right? And then the next page, I'll go to the next page and show you how to configure the margin call settings, okay? Then same direction is only works when the market is going in your favor. Why this is when the market is going against you. This one is when the market is going in your favor. You just keep buying more so that your profit can be more attractive. So let's say you risk $5 or $10 in the first trade. When you start going in your favor by a certain percentage, Okay, by a certain percentage, it will just take profit for you. It will just buy additional um, and add addition. That is what the same direction margin um, configuration is. So it will just buy addition for you. Okay, if you make it three times, it means that as it goes in your favor, in three times, three different times, it will be buying. Let's say it has the first time $10, the second time it will buy again, the third time it will buy again. So this time around, instead of just risking $10, they are risking like uh, $40, okay, that $40 are, with five S will be around um, $200. So at the end of the day, if the market moves by 10% ROE, it means that you're making 10% of what? $200, which you have raised in that trade, okay? And then we have the whole position, take profit ratio, always leave it, the, the minimum, um, the lower this is, the earlier you take profit. For instance, if I put mine to, 1.10%, those trades I was sharing with you, I would have taken profit long ago, okay? Because as I'm, I'm doing this now, before I go back to that board, you can see, it, it, you, it will be shocking that the market may even be going against me, okay? But we don't pray for that because our traders don't want, most especially newbies, they don't want to be seeing red whenever they are taking out a trade, but it is normal. All you just need to do is to understand, you know, the techniques behind it, and you will definitely enjoy it. Okay, then the whole um, position to profit, make it zero, buy, um, a buy in call back, make it zero, okay? After that, the next section is the liquidation settings, okay? So here you just leave it at 10%, leave here at 3%, 10 times, and then 5%, and that is all. I've covered up to the 50th margin call, and it didn't hit my liquidation, okay? But at the end of the day, the trade still goes in my favor. If you do understand when to enter the market, when to exit, you will never hit liquidation and you will never get liquidated, okay? So for the margin configuration, the next page we have the margin configuration, okay? And then we'll have the same direction configuration. So if I come in here to the next page, this is the margin configuration, okay? We have first call 1%, from first call to the 30th call, yeah, okay? This is the 30th call is 1%, all right? And mine has even covered up to the 33, okay? So then from 31, you have 1.5, this, you have this. Okay, you now have all of these different settings down there. Then for the same direction, since it is just three times, you just have one. Okay, first call 1%, second call 1%, third call 1%. This is just all you need to slot into your setting. And this setting is done 
once and for all. All you just need to do the next thing is look at the trade you want to take, look at your RSI, and then you go ahead and take your trade. And if it goes in your favor, you are making profit. Okay. So basically, this is just what I needed to share with you. If you need this, um, I think I've shared it in the, um, in the uh, Telegram group. Okay. If you need it, you can go ahead and let me know. I'll afford it to you. Then you can start using it to, you know, start trading the market. Okay. All right. So um, from what I'm looking at, the trading go it has not go, gone in my favor yet. It's not yet in my favor. It's even going against me. Um, but I believe whatever it is right now, I'll still be making profit. So it's dropping right now. But let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Anything can happen from here. I'm confident that it will go in my favor. So yes, I'll take your questions from here. Okay. If you have any question, just um, kindly um, unmute yourself and ask your question. We are not seeing we are not seeing your trading screen no? or are you not showing us? Okay, the trading screen. Yeah. All right, let me let me share the trading screen then. If you want to see that trading screen, where is it? Um look at it. You see that the market is reversing back. And if I go back to the bot, okay. If I go back to the bot, yeah from almost $18 plus, it's now $4, okay? But um, just looking at the chart alone, if I go back to that compound coin, let's go to the chart. Let me type uh, compound USDT here, compound. This is a trade that I'm carrying out right now. So if we look at the charts, um, let it load up, okay? Yeah, now the, it, it, it went up to this middle line here, this average line, and that is why it's reversing back. But I'm just, um, I'm setting, I'm not going to close the trade yet, okay? Because if I go to the one hour, uh, let me go back to my trading view because trading view gives me a clearer picture, okay? This is on the 15 minutes time frame. If I go to the one hour time frame, all right? So you see that it has not closed yet. At the one hour, it has not closed yet, all right? So it hasn't closed yet on the one hour. Uh, we are still left with 15 minutes, um, 13 minutes or there about for this one hour candle to close. So there is every probability that when this closes, this candle we are looking at here, when it closes, it will open another one that can still go in the same direction. And my target is what? To hit $50, uh, $50, 18 cent, yes? I think so, $50.18. So it could be going in my favor. I cannot close it. If I close it, um, at the end of the day, and it goes, goes in my favor, I will not start saying, oh, oh, I lost money, no, things like that. So basically, that is it. Um, that is all I have for you guys this evening. If you have questions, you ask questions, then you can throw so, me back. So, so for, you, for you now, will you close automatically, or you have to close it yourself? Yes, it will close automatically. It will close automatically. I don't need to close it myself. Um, it will close automatically. This is where it will close. If you check, uh, where's that marker? Let me get the marker again, sorry. So if I come back to the trade here, this is where it will close. This is my... I can edit this take profit, okay? My take profit there, you see here is 10%, okay? So it will close automatically if the price of this coin is $50.180, $50.180. It will just close automatically for me. And somebody will say, is this not foolishness? This was actually almost 18 to $20, right? I would have taken that profit, okay? I would have taken that profit, but I'm looking at the... You know, if you are just starting up to avoid, you know, getting, um, blaming yourself and then slapping yourself and the rest, make, make sure when I, assuming I wanted to take that profit, all I just need to do is to click twice on this closed position. Even if I do it now, it means that I'm going to make $1. Okay. I just click twice on that um, closed position and it will close the position for me and take profit. But let me leave it. it. It will not take this thing any, I don't know. But I'm sure that this market will definitely go in my favor. And it hits $50.18. Okay, when it hits $50.18, 
I am sure that it will definitely close the trade for me. So yes, it will close automatically because a take profit has been set already. And that take profit is what I showed you on the screen here. Okay, let me just go back to the board. All of those settings I shared with you on the Excel sheet, this is where you go to do the settings. You come in here, okay, click on it. Once you click on it, you want to come in here to the settings here, icon and click on that as well. So if I click on the setting icon here, all of those settings I share with you on the Excel sheet, that is what is here, okay? So if I scroll down here to the take profit, um, hold position, take profit. What I had on that sheet is 1.1, right? But I decided to put mine on 2%. And this is reason best known to me, but the general practice is 1.1, okay? Um, you should be making money very fast in the market. Don't go and uh, be too greedy. Okay, that 1.1 means that the market needs to increase by 10% ROE. Sorry, the 2% I have here. 10% ROE, and that is when it's going to take profit for me. So when it hits 10% ROE, whatever the amount I have risked and the profit I've made is, that is what is going to take profit for me. Okay, I'm going to take profit based on that. So yes, I just need to get that. Yes, any other question? Mr. Luna, um, please, uh, good evening. Now, um, you were talking about uh, the RSI indicator. Don't we have to take the general trend of the market into consideration? Because looking at the um, chart you just showed on the trading view, it looks like on the one hour, the market is trending downwards. And I, I doubt whether this market uh, will reach your target before, you see. So don't we have to consider the general trend of the market before we look at the overbought and then over so uh, over so zones. Yes. Oh, sorry, I didn't mention that. Before you even look at the the the, the um, RSI on your either Binance or trading, what you need to do is um, when you come in here to the board. Okay, this is the board has automatically done this. You know, select always giving you top ten and um, top 10 gainers and top 10 losers in the market. Now, when you click on any of these token, okay, there is a signal. This is the top 10, right? One of these, this ROSR is one of the top 10. And right now this coin has increased by 10%. When I click, this is the signal icon, okay? So it's not as if maybe it is semi-manual, you are doing the selection of the coin automatically on your own. If I go ahead and click on this um, signal icon here, once I click on it, it gives you a recommendation here, okay? Now on the 15 minutes time frame, it is saying buy. Okay, the recommendation is buy. If I go to the one minute time frame, the recommendation is buy. If I go to the five, uh, five minutes time frame, the recommendation is buy. The 13 minutes, strong buy, it's even strong buy, okay? And then for the one hour time frame, it's equally strong buy. So in most cases, people want to do, just blindly enter this market this way. It could be that when you are entering that market, the time might have gone far. Let's say you are want to use the one hour and the one hour is just like 30, 30 seconds to close or three minutes to close. Then you go ahead and long this market or buy this market. If it goes against you, you are losing money. That is when the RSI now comes in. Okay, while you look at the general trend of the market, you probably want to look at the possible, um, where it is possible for the market to reverse in your favor, okay? So the first coin we have here, which I just analyzed now, is the ROSR, right? RSI um, 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 USDT. If I come back to trading view, okay, um, all I just need to do is to, I think I have that coin already here. Yes, yes, this is it, okay? So I'll go ahead and open it up. When I open this up, okay, this is what it is, and this is on the one hour time frame, okay? This is on the one hour time frame. You can see why other, the, uh, you are seeing the compound coin as it's going against me. This coin is actually doing very great, okay? This is on the one hour time frame, and you want to pay attention to the RSI. In this case, because you have strong buy, this is already at 64, okay? This is already at 64. Meaning that if you follow that strong buy or the buy signal that the board is giving you, 
you can equally be making money if this continues to trend, okay, till it gets there. Remember, the only time you can short the market is when this is trading above the 70 level, all right? So when it is trading above the 70, let's say 75, 80, then you cannot be looking for an opportunity to short the market. So when I short the market for the compound coin I'm trading right now, I did that on the 15 minutes time frame. And at the 15 minutes time frame, it was already overbought, all right? So definitely it may not hit my target, but I am sure that at the end of the day, I'll still close that trading profit. So here you can follow that strong buy because this is still in the middle here. It has not hit the 70 level yet. It's just on the um, 64, okay? So when it hits 70 or even if it climbs above here, you can still make money. This is on the one hour time frame. Let me go back to, because I don't want to stay in this trade longer. If I go back to the 15 minutes, for instance, and look at what the 15 minutes is saying, So the 15 minutes, even when it's just at 63, okay? It's just, the RSI is just at 63, but it's beginning to like reverse back. If you check here, it's not really reversing back because it did up and down here. So if I zoom out this chart, so you see that it went up this way, up to this length, and then it started consolidating before this candle now shoot up again, and then this one. So in this case, because um, here it actually hit a 70, Okay, but here is just at that 63, trying to retrace back. There is every tendency that this market will retrace back, come to this middle line here, okay, and then go back again. So it is not left for you to look at, you are looking at the chart at that particular time, at that particular time frame you want to trade. If you don't want to look at the general trend in the market, general trend is maybe when you want to go with swing trade, you want your trade to last more than four hours or thereabout, okay? Then you can look at some of the general trends, but if I just want to take advantage of this trade, remember this candlestick now that is open is about to close in three minutes on the 15 minutes time frame. So assuming you saw this when it was going up here and you saw that the RSI was somewhere here, you would have waited, let's say this candle, this green candle was the one that was trading with no. three minutes. Hold on, please. You would have waited for it to close. When it closes, as it's opening the next one in red, you will just shut the market. And then wait for it to, you know, as it's trending now, you just, you know, take profit and exit. That is what scalping is all about. You, if within a shorter time frame, you are taking profit. You can do that even on the five minutes as well. Okay, you can do that on the five minutes as well. All right. So I can go to the five minutes. You see that we already have like three candles already closing downward, <laughs> meaning that if you have done that here on the five minutes, you see that the RSI has touched almost the 70 before it started reversing. So if you have done it here, you would have been in profit somewhere here. I don't know if that is clear, sir. Yes. All right. Thank so, you. Yo, I wanted to ask which one is better for novice? Is it, is it to do um, manual and completely automatic trading or to do a blend of this and the automatic? Trading? No, no, no. If you are doing the automatic, just do automatic you, so that you know um, get the board confused. You cannot be doing a blend of them. When you go and print your session, one way or the other, it will be affecting the automatic, okay? And if you lose money, you may be losing money in both sides. So what you can do is, uh, if you want to do the automatic, do the automatic for now. If you want to do the manual, the manual is because we needed more money, okay? The manual we are doing now, which is what I'm showing you how to spot all of this, is because we need more money. Because on its own, the board can be making the export can be making you money depending on the amount of money you have on your account. On its own, the uh, export can be making you profit in the market. You don't really need to, you know, I have somebody who has uh, since inception who activated export and he keeps making him small, small money every day. At times you see $20, at times you see $10, $5 and the rest. So that is how it comes. It all depends on the movement in the market. So the automatic can make you money, but if you don't have enough, um, um, time to look at the, the manual stuff, then you can do the automatic while learning how to do the manual. Okay, while learning how to do the manual. Then aside that, when the super board is finally launched, it will help a lot because yeah, the speed at which that board trades and then the profit it, it, it makes is amazing. All right? So when that is finally launched, you you definitely, but you need a higher amount to be able to do that. You definitely enjoy it.
Any other question? So, Mr. Leonard. Yes, sir. Um, so, uh, let's say that you are using the <clears throat> manual or semi-manual. Like, what is your stop loss level? Uh, at what level um, does the bot take you out from the market? Because you, we know that you've, we've seen that you have your take profit um, limit, which is 10% uh, uh, of the market. So at what time does the bot take you out from the market? Once I don't have money in my account, in my Binance Futures account any longer, because as it is right now, with the settings I have right now, I don't put stop loss. My stop okay. loss is zero. Okay. And that is because I am confident that the balance I have on my account will cover up for me, even the 50 margin calls, yes, it will cover. So once I don't, I no longer have money in my account, then I am sure of risking um, losing everything that I, I have. Okay, I am sure of losing everything that I have. But since I have a lot of money to cover up for the margin calls, okay, you see, one thing that happens with futures trading is that if you don't want to lose money, you will not lose money. And you know the reason for that, you need to have enough money on standby. I am risking yeah. about $300 or thereabout in that particular trade. What I can do, okay. let's say I wanted that trade to, and now the trade says that this coin will need to get to $50, right? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that my take profit says that this coin will need to get to $50 before I make profit. What I can do to make a profit shorter in the market is that I can just pump in more money into the board. Then it will bring that take profit from $50 to let's say around 49. So whenever the coin hits 49, I'll just take profit and exit the market. But to do that, it okay. means that you need to have enough money in your account on standby. Okay? okay. Yes, that money has nothing to do with the money at risk. So that whenever you add it up, it brings your take profit level closer and whenever the market moves a little in your favor, it takes profit for you and you exit the market. Okay. Yes. That's, that's nice. So it means that before you can be taken out of the market, um, your $300 you risk must be exhausted before. Yes. If you are risking $300, it means that the board has finished taking the margin cost for that $300. And then you no, okay. you no longer have money to cover up your, your trade. If you no longer okay. have money, then anything can happen. You can lose the whole of that money. Oh, okay. I see. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, Mr. Leo. So, um, sorry for uh, uh, jumping in. With uh, what you just uh, explained, I had I have a trade that is going against me for about almost a month now. I would love to um, share my screen so that you can use that one equally to you know explain it for them for so that they will get a clearer picture of um, what you mean. Like uh, if you don't have enough money in your account and then the trade is going against you. So if you permit me, I can uh, share my screen so that you use that one as well to explain. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. Sure. Okay. Okay, so I, I believe you are seeing my screen now. Yes. Yeah, yes, but you're, you don't have any money in your account any longer. Yes, yes. I, I, I'm aware. And then look at um, liquidation price. It's, it's even in 000000. zero, 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 zero. Ha. And it's this same coin that actually ruined me. I traded yes. this coin. This... Yes. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> this coin made me lose. Um, sorry. Uh -huh. Turn off your notification. Yes, this coin made me lose uh, a whole lot of money. Now the funny That's thing true. is that your liquidation price is uh, okay. You've been won out of twelve times. You've been won. Um, I think it has triggered like two twice. What yes. is your entry? Your entry price is thirty four. Four. Yes. Uh -uh. Come. <laughs> Hold on. Market price four dollars. This is yes. Uh, no, 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 no. 
When did so, you enter uh, this trade? I yeah. entered this trade <laughs> somewhere around, uh, I think earlier this month, I think when we had um, the first um, session, when you, you showed us how to uh, do the trade settings, that is when I entered um, this market. It, even, it made me a good profit, though. But as you said, uh, if, you entered, if you enter the market blindly, so after en entering the market, making uh, enough profit, and uh, I used the coin, the top 10 coins that the, the boss sent. So I, I jumped into it blindly without you, uh, checking, oh, reading the oh, RSI. Oh. Yes. So you yes. entered yes. when this particular day, I think that was, that should be on the 8th of June when the yes. coin pumped, it pumped up that, to $40. Thank you, that is it. <laughs> so instead of, instead of following the trend, you went against, ah! The, yeah, yes. you went against yes. the trend. I went, yes. So, so, so you see, so that's what has brought me. So now for me to come out of this market, it means I need to pump in more money. From 36, I mean, $66 right now. No, from $34 right now, the coin is even $40. Ah, $40. <laughs> and um, yes, if you, if you must come out of this money, you need, you need close to five thousand dollars to be able to come out. Come out, yes. <laughs> yes. So, because you will need to add margin call until call. you see where you say yes. market price until your market price comes down or your entering price comes down to either close to four dollars or even four dollars. Oh, if yes. not, um, you <laughs> at the end of the day you get liquidated on this because this oh, is yes. This is, uh, that's true. So I, I intentionally shared this screen. I wanted you to uh, watch the, uh, uh, to see this market, how it's going against me, so that uh, the others will also learn from it. Because uh, actually, I entered this market blindly, and this the results now. So like, I'm yet to um, add more money to my uh, uh, futures account. Yes, and I'll if I have more than enough, I'll uh, increase the um, margin calls, but. Um, with that even said, uh, with the new settings and now how you are going to be using leverage on the RSI. Now I know if the RSI is like overbought or uh, oversold, how to enter. So I'm going to like take advantage of the market with new uh, new other coins. And um, another thing you should take note of, because as I said earlier, you need a lot of money to be able to come out of this market. When market, market yes. when, when, when a trade goes against you this way, okay? The best thing is, yes. to, is to close the trade and then follow the trend of the market immediately. It's, Following okay, it, even okay. if you close it the first time at loss, when you follow it immediately, you can make profit or even make that which is going against you. Against you. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, because this is um, a huge amount of money. It's not money. It's not, yeah. It's, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Sure. 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 So uh, now I've, I've gotten the whole, I've, got, I've gotten everything about the um, trade settings and how to uh, enter into the market. Now I've gotten, so now if I want to jump into any market, I will not go, I will not jump into it blindly. Please, please don't. If possible, um, <laughs> before you enter any trade, just send me a message and say, okay, this is where you want to enter. I can equally check from my end and let you know whether to enter or not. Okay. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. And if that. for any reason a trade goes against you, if it gets to a certain level, close it and just follow the direction. Yes, and the okay. market is going. That way to make okay. you, yeah, to make you profit. Ah, that's too much. Uh -huh. And uh, Mr. Leo, to add up to it too, uh, usually one thing that I, I, I noticed, whenever the uh, coin signal is showing you buy, buy, when you uh, go to your trading view or Binance, to check the, the coin on your features. Usually it's it's the opposite it's the opposite direction rather. Yes. It will be showing you buy here, but when you go to when you use the RSI, it it means you have to uh, enter the market short. You sh sell short. I just noticed uh, with the past few days you um you explained how the RSI works. So I was uh, I I used uh, three different coins uh, as an example, and uh, the the robots here the signal here will be showing buy, but when you go to the trading view and you check it will, it will be showing yeah sell short enter short enter short so that one too is another thing I'm That's right. no well sorry Leo, from what you explained i feel 
when the what is giving signal to reply, it must have a very long time. But when it goes to the balance to check, it must have been late already. It's, uh, it's already getting to the opposite direction before he will check. I think that yes. is what I feel yes, it is because yes. it will give the signal. If you get a signal early, the way you've explained, you follow it that way to an extent, you are going to have a reverse and you, are, you, you reverse and follow the signal the other direction. Maybe when That's he goes right. to check, uh -huh, goes to check it, he's checking it late. That is why the arrow areas is already given an opposite direction. I feel that is how it is. That's right. That's exactly. right. That's what I That's mean. Right. Yes. 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 So usually now, with the help of uh, what uh, how Mr. Uh, Mr. Leo has explained the RSI, whenever the uh, bot is giving uh, gives a signal, like you quickly check it on Binance or your trading view, and then you get to know the direction. Then you can equally enter. But if you enter, if you follow the signal, and then you, if the signal is given strong buy or buy, and you jump into it before you, you, you see it will go against you. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yes. 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 So thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Sorry about that. Sorry about your trade. But I believe uh, <laughs> with more time you can make back that money. Sure of that. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sure, sure, sure. So I'm planning to um to add uh, about thousand uh, thousand USDT, and um as time goes on, I'll I'll add more to it, even to start a, a different trade. So that's my uh, my plan. All right. Yes, Julius. I'll I'll send I'll send those details and the time frame. Okay, the time frame more depends on what you want. You can use fifteen minutes. You can use five minutes. You can use one hour. Okay, now for scalping, for those of you who don't understand, when, when you we talk about scalping the market, is that you're making profit within a short movement in the market. You don't intend to stay in a trade for four hours, for one hour, or then about within a short period, a short movement in the market, that is when you are taking, that is what scalping is all about. And using the RSI helps you in, um, you know, find out those, those entering and exit points. Okay, when you look at the signal the board is giving you, you go to your RSI. If your RSI is saying, oh, this is showing overboard, or this market can be reversing from here, you take, you know, a reversal direction immediately. And then in five minutes, in 10 minutes, in 15 minutes or 20, or even 30, you can just follow the direction and make more profit and exit the market. Okay, so you can trade on any time frame you want, but if you want to do a longer trade, swing trading, you can go with the five, uh, what's it called? You can go with the the one hour, four hours, or any time frame and trade accordingly. All that is what I'm saying. Now, Henry, if you want to start scalping the market, you need to look at the time frame. Scalping, personally, I do scalping with just five minutes time frame and then the 15 minutes time frame. Now, the board is giving me a signal to buy a coin. I can go to RSI, go to my chart, and, in, and find that if that signal is correct, if I buy it, will it go in my favor? If the RSI say yes, then I can go ahead and buy it and expect that I'm making money in the next uh, 15 minutes or five minutes of staying in the market. Okay? I can make money in the next 15 or five minutes of staying in the market. That is what scalping is all about. Just within 15 minutes, before a candle close. From when it opens and when it closes, you can use it to make profit in the market. Okay, uh, I don't know if that explains it. Any other question? Now, the, what should be the first buy amount should equally be the same thing. If you are using 300, um, you should use $5, okay? If you are using um, 400, you use uh, $6. If you are using 500, 700, if you are using 600, $10, okay? So this amount of money must be in your finance account account before you can come back to the board to do So yes, you can do all of that. You can still benefit from it. So in the in the auto mode, the bot will choose the buy amount itself, right? Yes, the bot sets all of those. Uh, no, 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 no. The bot doesn't set it himself. You are the one telling the bot this is what you want, and then the bot okay. just work with that. Um, okay. I think if I share my screen again.
So if I come to the hash board, if I click on the hash board, okay, you tell the bot the number of trades you want to take and then the amount you want to use as your first order amount. Okay. And then every other setting is handled by the bot. So this is, for instance, if I just want to take one oh, trade yeah. and then I use my first order amount as $10, it means that it's going to cost me $75 to take this trade, okay? okay. With the settings that the bot has already um, pre-configured for you. And beneath it, you see, for those of you who want to start using the bot, the edge board, it says that up to 500 accounts, only one trade should be taken. Higher set balance is required for backup. Okay? Higher set balance is required for backup and the rest. So um, the, the higher set balance is because of, in case of uh, the market start going against you. Uh. It's not your touch. Touch was affecting from afar. Oh. The touch. Oh. Okay. All right. Any other question? Uh, okay. So um, please check in the chat. Okay, there are links to sign up for this board, and um. I, I think in one of these meetings, we are going to look at the, the marketing yeah. plan, Abi, the, what's it called, the, the referral program of the board. It equally has a referral program, okay? If you, if you have friends you want to bring up and um, they sign up with your link, you stand to equally gain um, some, some amount of money from them as well. So yes, you can do that. And the board equally have a game. Those of you who are game lovers, if you like, like playing games, you can be playing game with this board and be making uh, and be making profit from it and be making gains from it. I think this is the meta game. Okay, they have um, a game called meta game. You activate this one is uh, the game is uh, it costs um, thirty dollars one time fee. Yeah, it's thirty dollars one time fee. This one is not a yearly fee nor a monthly fee. Once you pay $30, the game is activated for you for life. Okay, so you can come in here and start playing game. I think I was playing one. Did I lose or did I win? Uh, not, okay, this one-on-one. -on -one. Um, okay, this was the game I was playing. As you can see, that is my name and then I'm waiting for the other person, okay? So once the person joins the game, then we can we can start playing the game. And is it I win or the person win and the rest? We'll equally look at all of this. So if you love games, you can activate this for just $30. And every day you keep playing the game and you'll be making, you know, if you win, you make profit and so on. There are a lot of things out there that the meta features has that you can leverage on and start benefiting from it. Okay. So that is it for the meeting today. If there is no longer question, I think we'll just call it a day. Please don't forget to send the Excel chat. Yes, sir. I will. Are you sending it on the Telegram? Yes. Okay, sir. We are expecting it, sir. All right, so that is it for today. Thank you for being here. And I will make the recording available for those of you who just joined or who are not able to follow um, from the beginning. So I'll make the recording available, okay? Thank you all and see you guys next meeting.